Hey guys, my name is Kamil and today I'm gonna show you how to make this boring painting into motion just using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. First, you need to find a picture with visible depth like the one I've picked. Open it in Photoshop and duplicate a layer. Click Add Layer Mask twice and with a black brush tool start removing everything except your object. I'm going to fast forward it now. Remember, to change size of the brush, just use square brackets on the keyboard right above return key. With backslash key right next to square bracket keys, you can toggle layer mask on and off with Rubylit, a transparent reddish layer so you can see what's left in your mask. Also remember to paint around your subject because this part will be visible when you add movement to these characters. I put his arm on a separate layer because I want to control his arm separately from his body. And remember to name the layers properly to keep an order in your project. And now I'm just checking how it looks. And now we need to start to clean the image. I made a separate layer for a clean room. I need it to be empty. For this I use mostly stamp tool and spot healing brush tool. I'm going to fast forward it now.
I probably shouldn't clean everything out because it's gonna be too much. But at this point I'm not perfectly sure how big animations uh, I'm going to put in these characters. So I clean everything just to be sure. In the meantime, I also need to clean all the characters. Sometimes you have to improvise and steal hands from others. You can rotate or resize the inside of the stamp tool just using these keys. And sometimes you even have to steal faces. And now we need to put all the layers in order. Remember, characters in front are the layers on the top and the characters behind them are the layers below. And now I need to recreate the parts of the room which are hidden by these characters so while they are moving they're gonna show little parts uh, behind them and it's going to look natural. And yes, even the floor.
and this is a final effect uh, this is a clean room layer with all the characters on the separate layers and now we are going to import the project to the after effects remember to check editable layer styles and import kind composition retain layer sizes now open the sequence as you can see all the layers are like they were in photoshop just uh, put this uh, little box next to them, it's going to make them 3D, so it's going to give them Z axis. And this is why I put floor and the stairs on the separate layers, I'm going to put them parallel to the camera. And now I'm going to rotate them in Z axis and scale them accordingly to the position they should be in the 3D space. Now I'm going to put all the characters in this space, so I'm going to again use Z axis like in the position and scale axis to make them look like they should. And remember, if you do changes in your Photoshop file and save it, it automatically changes the layers in the After Effects, so you don't need to import it again and uh, position it again. It automatically changes everything. And now we are going to start animating our characters. For this I mostly keep framing position and rotation. Also I use Puppet Pin Tool. It's very easy to use a tool. You need to just put in pins and move them in time. So it's going to have natural movement. Sometimes Puppet Pin to distort the image in the way you don't want to be distorted. So I need to put uh, some parts of characters on a separate layers to move and rotate them separately. And to animate the cloth, I'm going to use the liquify tool with uh, keyframe distortion mesh and I'm going to distort the mesh according to the movement. And I'm going to make his hands clapping like he's sort of enjoying all of this, I don't know, but maybe it's gonna look cool.
And now I'm going to add a camera, it's gonna be a two node camera with 50mm focal length. And next I'm going to add a null object and call it controller. And this controller is going to control all my characters because while moving a camera forward all of my characters are going to move forward also and I don't want that and I'm going to link them to the controller and move the controller while the camera is moving so the characters will stay on the same place. Next I'm going to add some sound effects and music and this is the final result. So, thanks for watching, please remember to subscribe for more content in the future and see you next time.